Hey, what it do, y'all, man? It's your big dog, Thump. You tune into another one, man. Do y'all think that the Venezuelan gangs have been placed here strategically by the U.S. government? I don't know. It's, it's starting to look a little fishy, man. You know, with what's going on in Aurora, Colorado, Chicago, New York, Philly. And um, I'm even starting to see them where I'm at. You know, I'm starting to see them. And they're real close, real, real close. Too close for comfort. I advise all y'all out there, man, who can legally own a firearm, legally purchase a firearm to do so. Protect your household and your family at all costs. You spare no expense when it comes to that. You spare no expense when it comes to protecting your family and your household. Because I'd be damned if somebody's going to knock on my door or, or, or rather kick my door down and make me and my family exit and they take over my house. You know, that's mind blowing. I can't even I can't even wrap my brain around. I can't even imagine that. Somebody knocking on my door or kicking it in, telling me and my family we gotta leave right now. Abruptly they leave the furniture, leave the TVs, leave everything, leave the clothes, you just leaving with whatever you got on your back. And they, they they might not even let you put your shoes on. They might if they're generous, you know what I mean? If they're real nice Venezuelan gangsters, they might let you keep your, you know, might let you put your shoes on, and they might let you grab your wallet, your purse, or whatever. But I don't think they're gonna do that, you know. We, we, we. Let's not, let's not fool ourselves. I advise anybody out there who's able to legally purchase a firearm to do so, and don't get no small shit. Get you some big shit. Get you something that's gonna knock the elephant down. Get you something small you can handle day to day. But when you in that house, get you something big, man. Get you something that's gonna do some damage. Shotgun, AR-15, AK-47, you know what I mean? Things of that nature. Get something big that's going to do some damage, you know, that, that's going to make whoever behind that person that's knocking on your door hit the road, Jack, you know what I mean? Or they going to think twice, you know what I'm saying? They going to think twice, they going to haul ass, get up out of there and say, hey, leave them folks alone. They ain't playing. They with the full-fledged bullshit. And that's what you want them to know. Because my mama always told me, if somebody playing crazy, you got to play crazier. You know what I mean? So, you know, Chicago, Philadelphia, you know, New York. I think that all you guys should just pay attention to what's going on in L.A., man. And, and y'all follow suit. Because y'all are the soldiers. Y'all are the soldiers that we need, man, in case of emergencies like this. While well, you have gangs, you know, from other countries, infiltrating our country. They're not coming with open arms, you know. They're coming to wreak havoc and, and cause destruction, you know what I mean, and mayhem. These Venezuelan gangs have came here, you know, illegally, and they're acting as if we owe them something. You know, as Americans, we don't owe nobody shit. America owe us. So y'all coming here with the wrong mentality. America is really starting to look like a third world country. These illegal alien gang members who have fled into our country, man, you know, and wreaking havoc, man, you know, amongst amongst the Americans, man, you know. So we need we we need our soldiers. We need our street soldiers, man. Uh without a shadow of a doubt. Chicago, man, is a major city, man. You know, and on that south side, you know, it's predominantly African Americans, man. And they place these Venezuelans amongst us, man. Amongst my people out there in Chicago, and uh, I advise y'all to put y'all differences to the side, man. You know, the old blocks, the 63rds, the, 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 you know, just all the GDs and BDs, man. Y'all need to form an alliance, man. Y'all need to put them differences to the side for right now, man, and really come together, man, and, and protect y'all shit. This ain't no time to bullshit, man. This ain't no time to beef about no pussy, beef about the count. Who got more? Who got more bodies? This, this ain't the time for that, man. Because them folks on the phone 
they call him back home, say, look, man, this shit sweet over here. And they language or whatever, however they speaking, yo, this shit sweet, man. Y'all come on up here, man. We done ran them, we done ran them out they shit. Y'all come on up here. You know what I'm saying? They thought, they, they think they gangster. We, we gonna show y'all who the real gangsters is, you know? And the police ain't doing shit. They, they sitting back getting the kick out of this shit. You know, the police, man, they not trying to, they, look, them police got a job, man. They trying to go home just like a person that work at McDonald's, man. They, they, that's a job, bro. Police work a job. Nobody's, who's trying to really die? You know what I'm saying? Nobody. But when you fighting for a cause, you know, when you fighting for a cause, man, sometimes, man, you got to make that decision, man. But I think if if y'all put y'all differences to the side, man, I think the casualties, it'll be a lot less, man. If y'all put y'all differences to the side, you know, and, and come together, man, and be, you know, and strategize, man. Y'all can't let these out-of-towners, man, beat y'all on y'all own land. Y'all got home court advantage, man. How you gonna let them beat y'all on y'all shit? That's y'all land. That's where y'all been roamed and... Y'all know all the nooks and crannies and all the crevices in Chicago. Y'all can't let them people beat y'all on y'all landscape, man. That's y'all shit. Y'all got home court advantage, man. Home field advantage. Whatever you want to call it, y'all got that. There's a lot going on right now, man, you know, with all races. You know, shit brewing. It, it could potentially be a race war between all races, you know. And that's what it's boiling down to, man. It's getting crazy. You know, and I don't know if y'all see this, and a lot of y'all probably don't. I want to even pay attention to that shit, man. But it's a real thing, you know. It's a, it's a strong possibility. We had a government being ran, and people, uh, these illegal aliens coming here sucking up our resources. Um, you know, it, 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 it really got a lot of people on ten right now. They're uneasy, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm one of them. You know, I'm not digging this shit. I'm not digging how shit going on right now myself. And I'm trying to stay sane for my family, but it's only so much, you know one man can take. Uh, so I advise y'all, man, to stay strong, man, and and um, really, re really, really figure out who your allies is, man, you know. It's time to put them differences to the side, man. I don't care what color you is, man. If you with me, you with me. If you against me, then it is what it is, man. We're gonna draw that line, though. We're gonna draw that line in the middle of the sand, man. You know what I'm saying, you know. It's to that point. I can't say it's getting to that point. It's really to that point, y'all. I just wanted to put this out here in the air, man. It's not no, it's not no threat video. I'm not, I'm not on here making no threats. I want everybody to live in peace and harmony, man. But when y'all get to getting out of hand, man, somebody got to put you back in your place, man. You feel me? Somebody got to put you back in your place. You know, and I think we're getting, we're getting real, real close to that. You know what I'm saying? It, it's on the brink. So... Y'all just stay tuned, man. Get your artillery up, you know what I'm saying? Go go to the shooting range, handle your business, man, you know. Get your, get your, get your aim together, you feel me? Because we don't know what's going to go down. Get in shape, you know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do. Get strong, you know what I'm saying? It ain't all about fighting with guns. You might got to do some hand-to-hand -hand combat shit, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you shop. Make sure, make, make sure you shop with these, man, you know what I'm saying? You got to be able to, you know what I'm saying? You got to be able to knuckle up, you know what I'm saying? Handle your business. You know, at all costs, man. Look, man, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. You know, this could have been a long, drawn-out video, but I try to keep my shit in a certain realm, you know what I'm saying, up under a certain time limit. It just helps with editing for me, you know what I'm saying? I don't like, I hate editing, you know what I'm saying? You know, once I, you know, once my subscribers, you know, go up, maybe, you know, I'll do some more longer, drawn-out videos, but right now, we're gonna keep it at a certain time frame, you know? YouTube playing with my monetization show, you know, it is what it is, man. But look, I appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. Do me a favor, man. Punch that like button. Punch that subscribe button, you know what I mean? For your dog one time, man. You only got to do it once. I ain't asking you to do it twice. Just do all those things for me, man. One time. The big dog thump and I'm gone. <laughs>